House and some newly released excerpts. Good evening, Ed. That's right. Good evening, Brett. And one more number to add to your list, a uh, price tag of about $450 billion, we're being told by top Democrats privately. We're also, as you noted, getting our first look at how the president will sell that $450 billion plan. We've got these excerpts where the president will, in his speech, vow that the plan, quote, will provide a jolt to an economy that has stalled and give companies confidence that if they invest in hire, there will be customers for their products and services. You should pass this jobs plan right away. You can see the pressure the president will put on Congress, also touting that it's a middle-of-the-road proposal. Quote, there should be nothing controversial about this piece of legislation. Everything in here is the kind of proposal that's been supported by both Democrats and Republicans, including many who sit here tonight, and everything the president will say in this bill will be paid for. Everything. But we're also also learning that tonight the president will not spell out specifically how he's paying for it. Top Democrats who have spoken to President Obama about the speech say he wants to convey a deep sense of urgency about the economy and plans to try and back Republicans into a corner, demanding they pass his new jobs plan with bipartisan ideas, or else he'll make the case next year Congress sat on its hands during a crisis. We do